Hello friends and welcome to another 3 minute game pass, I'm Nathan and today I'm going to tell you if this game pass game is worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Scream Ride. Have you ever thought roller coasters just weren't exciting enough because they can only have two wheels on the track? Have you ever wanted to play Angry Birds with people inside Jurassic World balls? Have you ever wanted to make some nutso roller coasters? Well if you said yes to all of the above, and I mean all of the above, there's a game that does all of this. Somehow. Scream Ride is an Xbox only game that doesn't feature any sort of upgrades or a PC release or cross anything or whatever, and the game takes about 9 hours to beat the campaign mode and then as long as you want in the sandbox mode. So what exactly is Scream Ride? Well, Scream Ride is a roller coaster game that's different from most roller coaster games. It's also actually three games in one, so I'm just gonna jump right into that. The first game is a coaster racing game. You control a coaster across many tracks where the goal is to drive as dangerously and fast as possible to provide maximum excitement. This includes timing button presses to earn boosts, going up on two wheels to scare the bejesus out of the passengers, doing sick jumps, and more. And falling off the track is not a good idea. The second game is Angry Birds with People. Spin them around and launch them into buildings. Get more points if you destroy the buildings. Find the building's weak points. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams, but a wrecking ball full of people flung at extreme centrifugal force sure as hell can. Uh, and lastly, the last game is Roller Coaster Tycoon. Kind of. You're given a length of track and you need to create a rad coaster connecting it under multiple requirements without killing everyone involved. It's actually harder than it sounds. The secret final mode is Sandbox, where you can combine all of these activities into one insane madness experience and then share it with people or download theirs. And that's the entire game. So what do I like about Scream Ride? Well, each of the three game modes gives a unique experience, meaning you'll probably find something you like since you have three separate options. Uh, additionally, every mode has sub-objectives that you have to complete or can complete optionally to increase your score, which are challenging and teach you new and interesting ways to play, as well as encouraging replays for each stage. And lastly, flinging people off of roller coasters into buildings will never not be just funny as hell. And I'm glad that somebody finally made an entire game around hurting people in your amusement park. Because I was doing that already with every roller coaster tycoon game. Anyway, I am not a sociopath, I promise. When it comes to the bad, I do feel like none of the three modes in particular stood out to me as being exceptional. They're all just pretty okay, which is fine, but not great. Uh, the game does suffer some frame rate problems, even on my Series S and X when stuff got really wild. I don't know if it's bad optimization or what, but sometimes the game got a little slow when buildings were just falling all over the place. And lastly, this game could have some wild difficulty spikes across all of its modes. You could be just cruising along, having a great time, and all of a sudden you hit a stage that just kicks you straight in the face. It's weird how a game that's kind of low-key and casual can get really difficult really fast. So as you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale. Must play, maybe consider, don't bother. This one is definitely a maybe consider. I'll be honest, I had no idea this game even existed. It randomly came up when I was dinking around in Game Pass, and I played it. And overall, I had a pretty okay time. I personally like the mode where you drive the coaster the best, as I love riding coasters, and I disliked the Angry Birds one the most. But honestly, I feel like every individual person will have a different favorite and dislike, Then there's three options to choose from, so you got your choices here. As a collection of three fleshed out, pretty okay, throw ride games, this collection is perfectly passable. If any of these three sounds fun to you, you might as well check it out. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and go out there and enjoy Scream Ride.